had now come within javelin range when the Persian cavalry made a furious charge on the left wing of their enemy. Darius wanted the, it, the issue decided in a cavalry engagement since he presumed that the phalanx was the main strength of the Macedonian army. An encircling movement around Alexander's right wing was also in progress. When the Macedonian saw this, he ordered two cavalry squadrons to maintain a position on the ridge while he promptly transferred the rest of the heart of the danger. Then he withdrew the Thessalian cavalry from the fighting line, telling their commander to pass obtrusively behind the Macedonian rear and join Parmenian, whose instructions he was to carry out energetically. The troops sent forward into the midst of the Persians were now totally surrounded and were stoutly defending themselves, but being densely packed and virtually locked together, they could not effectively hurl their javelins, which, simultaneously discharged, became entangled with one another as they converged on the same targets so that the few which fell on the enemy did so gently and without inflicting injury, while the majority fell ineffectively to the ground. Thus, obliged to fight hand to hand, they swiftly drew their swords. Then the blood really flowed, for the two lines were so closely interlocked that they were striking each other's weapons with their own and driving their blades into their opponents' faces. It was now impossible for the timid or cowardly to remain inactive. Foot against foot, they were virtually engaging in single combat standing in the same spot until they could make further room for themselves by winning their fight. Only by bringing down his opponent could each man advance. But exhausted as they were, they were continually being met by a fresh adversary, and the wounded could not retire from the battle, as on other occasions, because their enemy were bearing down on them in front while their own men were pushing from behind. Alexander was as much a soldier as a commander, seeking for himself a rich trophy of killing the king. Riding high in his chariot, Darius cut a conspicuous figure at once, providing great incentive to his men to protect him and for his enemies to attack him.